please turn on your sound. Let's go. Purple Hyacinth, episode 103. Try and make sure if there's any sound. Here we go. Over there. I'll go up and around. Oh no. <gasps> oh my gosh, a phantom sight. What the? That's... Oh. Bang, bang, bang. What? Huh? Kim, Loon got shot earlier. One of them saved us, but the other one was down. If it's what you think. Loon? Don't tell me she fell off. Don't tell me she fell over. <gasps> oh my gosh, she's so... She's bleeding. She knows it's Lauren. She threw that touch. <sighs> Attention all officers in action. Chief Sinclair has arrived with more backup. Sitting in extraction team, Sergeant Liddell, please confirm your location. I'm on the rooftop on the eastern side of the factory. Confirmed. Extraction unit arriving in two minutes. Go. Get out of here, Lou. Do you want to get arrested? Please, get out of here while you still can. Lauren. I'm so sad. Alright, here we go. Purple Hyacinth, episode 104. Content warning. This episode contains graphic imagery of self-harm and depiction of suicide, which may be triggering to some readers. Viewer discretion is advised. You guys have been warned. <laughs> so I guess the APD will try to enter through here. It's a dead end. Almost all of it is within throw, throw distance. We set up an ambush. Why just here? A tunnel? Is this where the Phantom Scythe backup came from? If so, then we have our way out. We're so close. So you didn't need much help? What happened? You look like shit. Still better than you. Are you doing okay? We should leave. It feels like we've been stuck in this factory for three months. Wait. Come. Listen. Hold off. 
The APD. Do not let them get to the basement. Secure the tunnels. We'll have re you will receive a signal when the countdown starts. Evacuate before the basement explodes. <gasps> oh my gosh. I repeat, secure. But don't. No, I can't lose my mind right now. Snap out of it. Lauren, snap out of it. Snap out of it, Lauren. I said, snap out of it. Oh. Oh. Sorry. I've been here before and it made me panic. I won't let my emotions take over this time. This time, we're doing this together. Let's go, let's go alert their APD. You're not alone either, detective. I got you. Let's go. With the amount of nitroglycerin they have in the basement, the whole neighborhood will be turned into smokes. The APD and the civilians need to evacuate as soon as possible. We have no clue what the countdown is. Gotta hurry. If I have to expose my identity and get arrested, so be it. Get out! What? Alert everyone to get out! The Phantom Scythe is planning to blow up the entire... Huh. Cover me. Take the stairs. Me. The saloon. Get everyone out of the factory immediately. We got intel indicating the Phantom Scythe is planning to set off the nitro in the basement soon. There are approximately a hundred nitro crates in the basement. Evacuate the entire neighborhood. This is Chief Sinclair message received. Do you have an approximation of the time before the bomb goes off? No, we're currently heading to the basement to analyze the situation. Group A, retreat. Group B and C, assist in bomb squad and immobilize the threat. Hudson speaking. The enemy is holding us off. We cannot get through the access to the basement. They're coming. I'm out of bullets. Oh my gosh. Let's go. The Phantom Scythe is blocking the APD. They can't get through. God damn it. What can we even do by ourselves? Not yet. Isn't it weird we haven't bumped into anyone going up? What are they planning? Whatever it is, we have to stop it. <gasps> A time bomb. Tell me how to defuse this bomb, or I swear to God. He's not gonna tell you. There's no way. Cleared. On our way to the basement. Huh? You're a loon, right? How lucky. I guess I'll make you stay with me. What? There are nine, nine minutes, 55 seconds left on the timer. A total of nine wires. Which is it? Which wire? It's too late, loon. We only had 10 seconds. What do you mean? There are nine minutes on the... To get out. Lock. Sir, all access to the basement have been blocked, sir. They're trapped in there. <sighs> oh. Okay, so... For one, I won't start reading this until like end of December <laughs> or like start reading again for January. So, oh my gosh, like I'm just, I don't have time to continue reading for the next one. Um, right now, I have to wait till, you know, when I have time middle of December to start for January because I have other webtoons to record and post out for the month of December. Oh my goodness. Guys, like, 
you a lot of the like you know a lot of you guys in my comments have been telling me like keep going keep reading it gets really good it gets really good and at the very very beginning like the first 50 episodes of this webtoon i was so bored out of my mind i was like okay what is it about why is it this is boring right but as i kept going it got so good and here we are at the climax of it and wow and it keeps going keeps going the story is like keep developing so well like i love it so definitely kudos to the two writers the music and their art and the storyline like it is just absolutely amazing and as a reader i love reading this and as a person who really like to act out the characters it's just chef kiss all right guys if you guys enjoyed the way i have read this and reacted to this webtoon feel free to subscribe leave a thumbs up drop some comments on how y'all felt about these two episodes and i'll catch you guys next time bye